Okay guys, uh, this is what's been going on for the last three weeks. We are going to harvest the last of the worms from the European night crawlers from this baiting station. I put a lot of really cool pumpkin, hopefully, that they were very attracted to. I've got my bucket here that I will be ready to scoop them up into when I get them. But I figured I would take you with me try and take you with me for everything right all right so i'm trying to figure out the most delicate way to do this because even though it's been three weeks i still have not managed to uh, get custody of this area because the worms won't get out of the castings i mean in three weeks they've done quite a bit but not enough i actually have had a fan on in here to try and encourage the drying so let's see what we've got i feel a lot of squishiness so hopefully hopefully this will be good all right so i'll do this over the little pot that i have and hopefully we can continue to grab more there's another piece of pumpkin that hopefully is Pure worms, or mostly pure worms. Maybe one more. Well. Okay, so I guess I didn't get it 100% done this time, but it looks like the population is much lower. The plants are still, you know, being okay in the basement floor. Hasn't gotten totally cold here, but I will move the dry stuff over and put the fan back on over here. Find some more pumpkin or something they want to eat so that I can catch them all. Because I really don't want to uh, send these guys outside if I don't have to. Alright, well let's go back and we're going to look in on the European Nightcrawler Everybody's Together bin. And we're going to see how it's, how am I going to get that wedge back together? How am I going to get it progressing again? I don't know, but I'll take you with me one second and we'll move over there. Okay, we're going to start here at the European Nightcrawler, uh, everybody together bin. And I'm just going to do an evaluation here and start kicking all of the large things down to this end to try and somehow get the, the wedge going again. So this or these castings here, or this material here is not finished. But even the even though it's not finished, if anybody's counting, that's still the ginger. Still ginger. Um, if anybody, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to get this back into sort of a uh, a shape like it was before, where the complete stuff is over here and the new stuff is over here. But it's been about three weeks since I've looked in on here and um, give them a chance to settle down and hopefully finish some of this paper and food that was left over that we sifted out. A lot of good, good sized worms here and I was hoping that they could kind of expedite this now that there's twice as many worms. So it looks like not having a lot of compaction problems but I do see worms throughout. So we're just going to slowly start moving this stuff up here, making sure that everything gets uh, aired out a little bit. The heavier it is, the more likely there is for compaction because it is so thick. It's about a foot deep. And so I'm just going to try and make sure that nothing goes anaerobic under there. Okay, so that's good. Just keep moving. Got a little bit of a worm ball here, so we might be getting into the part that I had fed last time. It's hard to tell. There are just so many worms everywhere right here. It's kind of hard to tell. I did watch the video just to try and gauge where I thought things were, but it was a little... Uh, chaotic I think trying to tell I didn't leave a uh, mark or anything on the side of the 
bin to kind of tell me where to stop. So we're just gonna we're gonna keep going till we hit hopefully like a worm ball or something. But yep, Ugh. very heavy. You can see the paper bedding here has not broke down, so we're definitely in the area where we fed. Here's a little bit of pumpkin. And put that uh, cardboard kind of construct thing underneath. So it doesn't look like they've finished everything, but we definitely have a really good concentration of worms. And I think it's a great idea that I got in here to air this out because this paper bedding does look pretty compacted. I don't think I, I don't remember if that was actual prepared bedding or if that was just paper, I don't know. Still, a lot of worms. I think I have predicted that there's between eight and 10 pounds of worms in here now that I have the uh, European night crawlers that are my originals as well as the ones from Northeast Worms that started out as only a pound. So it looks like they've killed off all of their feeding and to me it seems lucky that they have a discernible feeding end and finished end. So to me I'm happy with that that I can tell the difference between the two so that I can move this down and get them some more food and some more bedding. It's not as big as blue so it's not going to go as fast. But it's half the size of blue and it has half of the amount of worms that blue does. So in theory it should run at the same rate, right? Alright, let's put this down here and we will get them some more bedding and some food. Okay, get them a little bit of bedding there. So, let's see, if we kind of do the math, we didn't have enough food to last for three weeks. So hopefully this will last three weeks. That's onion, mango, avocado. Got some pureed apples here. So that's two gallons of food. And let me get some more bedding for this side. Now, they have more than enough room to stay over here should this heat up a little bit. That, and it's pretty cool in the basement, it's about 65 down here. When people have smaller bins and they feed too much, the worms don't have any choice but to be in it. And that's where you end up with the protein poisoning or the string of pearls uh, problem. With my bins, or at least this one, it is so big, the worms can stay away from this until the other bin critters can get at it. So I'm pretty confident that they are, they'll be fine with that amount of food, even though it is two gallons worth. Um, I'm sure it will be fine. And hopefully, maybe we'll see a worm ball in a couple of weeks. Oh, I almost forgot to add the new worms. All right, let me know your thoughts. How many of them did we have? How many did we rescue here? That's, that's quite a bit of worms and I should probably bury this food. I don't know, I probably got a couple hundred worms. And they can stay over here and not be exposed to the uh, new food that is probably a little questionable right now. Don't want them to get hurt by it. All right, so this is all of my European night crawlers now. I'm going to have to uh, put another bait cup together over there and, and grab the last 50 or so. But if you want to see more about my European night crawlers, I have a playlist that is right over there. And uh, if you've already seen that, then YouTube thinks you're going to like a video right over there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.